What's going on YouTube? In my previous videos, I've showed you how to set up pages, buttons, and OBS with Touch Portal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Touch Portal with Twitch. We're going to take a look at our second page on Touch Portal and create a new Twitch page. If you haven't watched the other videos, I suggest checking out those beginner guides. This is another addition to the full set of beginner guides I'm doing for Touch Portal. If you want to keep up to date on those guides, make sure you like this video and subscribe subscribe to the channel. With that being said, we're not going to waste any time. Let's jump straight into this video. Taking a look at our touch portal device. This is what we have set up on touch portal already. You probably have more stuff built into touch portal by now, but this is the basic setup that I've showed you guys how to do. In this video, we're gonna take a deeper look into creating more beautiful buttons on Touch Portal, and we're gonna create a Twitch page. The second page that we created in our original tutorial is what I'm going to use for the Twitch page. We already have a go to main page button built onto this page. What we need to create is a streaming button, a recording button, and then a bunch of the Twitch related buttons and some of the scene change buttons as well. There is an icon pack that is available in my discord server this icon pack has a bunch of png images that can be imported or used for touch portal buttons so if you want to snag that in the server from the server as well you'll have some cool buttons they'll be the buttons that i use in this video for this first button what we want to do is actually create an obs type of button what we're going to do is create a button that will connect uh, touch portal back to obs just in case we have any connection issues the icons in my server is this file right here you want to save that file and go ahead and extract the icons from that file the icon we're going to be using for this button is the OBS icon with the little reconnect arrow on it. That's going to be the default image for this button. And what we want to do is when we press this button, we're going to change the button visuals. I'm going to walk through this much quicker now that you guys understand the process a bit more. What we're going to do is change the button visuals over to the one with the green arrow on it. So we're going to change that and then we're also going to create a timer in between there. So for 100 milliseconds, it will be this green icon and then we're going to change the button back to the original icon. When you press this button, it will reconnect you to OBS. The next button we're going to create is the streaming button. So if you click on here, what we need to create is on and off button for streaming. Go ahead and create the action for setting the streaming state. We want to start the stream when we press this button. We're also going to create another setting stream state. We're going to stop the stream. And what we need to create is an if and else logic statement. So let's go ahead and pull that if statement up. Let's go ahead and create an else statement and slide it in between there. What we need to do is set if the OBS streaming state is stopped. We want to start it, otherwise we want to stop it. Now we need to also create the button visual changes for this as well. First, let's select the default icon. So let's change the icon. The icon we're going to use for this is the dull streaming off neon icon that I've created. Now we're going to go to our button visual changes action. We're going to change this icon to that brighter neon one this button here and we're going to make sure that that's in the started one we're going to copy this and paste it down here and we're going to make sure this icon goes back to that defaulted off streaming state go ahead and save that button now we've successfully created a streaming button for our twitch page the next button we're going to create is a recording button here. It's going to be exactly like the streaming button. So we're going to go through this in fast forward. We're going to set the recording state, set the recording state again. We're going to go up to the if statements. We're going to create an if statement and an else statement. Then we're going to change the button visuals as well. And for the button visuals, we want to select the recording icons. Make sure you have the default recording button as the off recording button. 
Once you save that button, you'll have a streaming button and recording button built into your Twitch page. The next thing we need to set up are some of the Twitch related buttons down here. For instance, the first button that I want to show you how to set up is in our Twitch category. In the Twitch category, you have buttons for playing an ad, creating a clip, or setting a stream marker. I think the most useful action in all of these actions is to create a clip. For the creating a clip, we need to set the icon for creating a clip. The create the clip icon is this Twitch logo look here with the plus button on the inside of it. Go ahead and save that button. Now, when you press this button, it will create a Twitch clip on your stream. The next button I want to show you how to create is a button to play an ad. For us Twitch affiliates out there, we make money from ad revenue, subs, and bits. Quickly being able to play an ad if you run to the bathroom is a very useful tool to have. I don't suggest doing anything over 30 second ad for your button. This button icon is the ad icon. It is a play button within the Twitch logo. Now we have created two Twitch related buttons. The next thing I want to show you how to do is create a button for switching from one scene to another scene. I showed you how to do this in my previous video, but in this video, I want to use updated icons as it looks so much better. So for this first button, what we're going to do is go to our OBS section here and we're going to select set scene action. The scene we're going to set is our main scene or our live scene streaming scene. The next thing we want to do is scroll down here a little bit and we want to create an event for on scene selected. We actually want to create two of these events, one for is and one for is not. And we want to make sure we select the same scene in this dropdown. Now, what we need to do is change the button visuals for this scene. Go ahead and add in button visual changes to each one of these events. We want the button to be highlighted when it is on this scene. And in order to do that, we need to select the icon for our main scene, except for we want it to be the highlighted icon, which will be this icon here. We're going to select the off icon for when this scene is not active, which will be the duller of the two icons. The next thing we need to do is, you guessed it, we need to set that off icon as our default image for this button. Go ahead and save that button. The next thing we're gonna do is set our intermission scene so we need to create the set scene again. We're going to set it to our intermission scene or whatever other scene that you use on your stream. And same thing again, we're going to create two events for on scene selected. One of them is going to be is not, and we need to make sure we select the intermission scenes. We also need to create the button visual changes for each one of these events. So make sure you do that as well. And for the intermission scene, what we need to do is change this icon over to the second scene icon. The second scene icon looks like this. It's the orange one that's lit up for when it is not on this scene. We want to make sure that we have the icon that has the number two in it, which is this icon right here. Same thing for the default image. We want to make sure we default this image to the icon with the number two in it. Now we have successfully created a Twitch page with a streaming button, a recording button, a create a clip button, play an ad button, and switching scene from one over to two and vice versa. That concludes this tutorial on setting up a Twitch page within Touch Portal. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you did learn something from this video, please, please, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all the Touch Portal guides. Again, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you next time. Peace.